Hi guys, welcome! Today's recipe is a delicious agua de tamarindo. Tamarind is one of the many flavors of aguas frescas that are very popular in Mexico. These refreshing drinks are made with natural ingredients like fruits, seeds, even rice. And I'm certain that your local Mexican restaurant or food stand is selling them because they pair perfectly with food or on their own. And for this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your very own refreshing tamarind drink that you're going to especially love on a hot day. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you're interested in this recipe, let's begin. Starting with the tamarind, of course, this is what it looks like. It's a fruit that grows on trees and it comes in a pod with sections that range in size. Each section is a seed and all you have to do is crack it open with your hands. You'll notice that the fruit inside is wrapped in a vein. Also, it's sticky to the touch, similar to the fleshy texture of a date. You can find these tamarind pods at most Mexican markets, usually in the produce section. They're sold in bulk, so when choosing, pick the ones that don't have any cracks or openings. And when you're ready to use them, all you have to do is once again break the pod open and remove the veins that run along the fleshy fruit. And once I remove the veins, I place them in a bowl. If you're wondering what tamarind tastes like, they're sort of sour, sweet, and tangy all at the same time, if that makes any sense. And they are very beneficial to your health. Many people use the seeds and the pulp to help with their digestive system, also to improve their liver. It helps clear up your skin. They're high in potassium, among many of the benefits. Before the next step, I like to clean the tamarind by putting it inside a colander and running it under cold water to remove any debris. Once your tamarind is clean, you want to place it inside a medium to large pot and cover with enough drinking water. And you want to cook it for about 10 minutes over a medium flame. When it comes to a boil, turn off the flame and allow the tamarind to cool down all the way. What this is going to do is going to soften the tamarind and make it easy to remove the seeds. And once the tamarind has cooled down, I poured the water that they cooked in into a blender using a colander to keep any chunks from going in. With clean hands, you want to remove the seeds from every tamarind. They should pop right out. Place the seedless tamarind inside the blender. Add water, as well as your sweetener of choice. I'm adding raw cane sugar. And I'll have the measurements in the description box below. Keep in mind that you can sweeten yours to your taste. Add as much or as little sugar as you'd like, or none at all if you want to use a pulp for its benefits. Blend until smooth, then pour the tamarind pulp into a large pitcher using a colander. This will ensure your agua de tamarindo is smooth without any unwanted textures in there. And because the pulp is thick, you may need to stir it with a spoon like I did to speed up the process. Once all of your smooth tamarind mixture has drained through the colander, the last step is to add more water to dilute it and balance out the flavor. Also, feel free to adjust the water to your taste just in case it's too concentrated. You can dilute it with more and do the same with the sweetener. If it's not sweet enough, you can always add more to taste. Finally, you stir and you serve over ice, lots of ice. It not only makes your agua de tamarindo cold, but it adds a nice balance to the tangy taste as it melts. And just like that, with three natural ingredients, you made your very own agua de tamarindo and it is seriously refreshing and tasty, super easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a short but simple one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly veganized recipes. Until the next one, take care.